Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the Zodiac Sign of Aquarius. I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, your girl been um, MIA for a little bit, but it really hasn't been that long to me. I don't feel like it, but because the days go by super quick to me. But let's just get started, okay? You guys could be thinking that right now. Like, you know, the days are going by super quick. You have so much to do and you don't have enough time to like fit it in a day, you know, 24 hours, you know? And sometimes after you work, you need some time to just like rejuvenate, right? To get your thoughts back together. So some of you occurs can relate to what I'm going through. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Spirit guides of love and light, ancestors and cinema masters, my angels of the pen of my light, please tell me what's going on in the love life of the zodiac sign of Aquarius for my collective. What's going on? Okay, so here we have the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm going to say the zodiac signs um, at the end. Um, I have the Six of Swords. Okay, so the Three of Cups here and the Six of Swords. So somebody is going to be walking away, overcoming the obstacles with third parties here, okay? They could have party with these people, had drinks with these people, okay? Really got together with these people. Some of these, um, I'm hearing somebody could have been into threesomes here, okay? But somebody's going to be overcoming any obstacles with a third party here, okay? I feel like these are like extra third parties, like extra karmics outside of you guys' relationship. You have the three of swords here. Yeah, somebody's going to be overcoming a, heart, a heartbreak here, okay? Something happened here where somebody um got their heart broke, right? Somebody feels upset, okay? They feel depressed, okay? They, this person could be going through the dark night of the soul here. But this red is really pointing out to me. So I feel like somebody has been, like, very upset about a situation with a third party here, okay? Clarify the three of swords. Clarify the three of swords. Yeah. Give me another copy of your thoughts. In the world. Okay, yeah. So here's somebody's thinking about going towards a destined connection here with the Wheel of Fortune here. Going towards a more destined um, connection here with the Wheel of Fortune. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Energy. This person is thinking about moving forward, okay? Um, bring themselves more good luck and justice in their own life. And we have the Three of Swords here. So this person needs to heal first from this Three of Swords energy. And this person is thinking about taking a leap of faith, going on a new journey, okay? Somebody has become enlightened about the, the people that they hung around with. It could be friends, family here, ex-lovers. Somebody has become enlightened about the people that they hung out with, you know? And these people was just caused them to um, backtrack here, not to really, you know, push them to be their best selves here. And it's like this person is heartbroken about this situation. This person could have been depressed for a long time here, but I feel like this person is ready to move forward, okay? This person, I kept seeing that somebody really wanna move, like move far away from where they're at. Mm -hmm. To get away from everybody here, but this person is enlightened and this person is working on self-love. Yeah, somebody's working on self-love here. What else is going on? Spirit guys of love my ancestors and masters. My angel of the pillar light. Okay, here we have the emperor. Okay, the emperor. So somebody, yeah, I'll just say that somebody is really stepping into their power here. Okay, this person is ascending, right? It's like this person um, is pushing themselves to go through this. This person knows that it's going to have to be some type of hurdle here. They have to heal themselves before they can step in this emperor power right here. But this person is most definitely looking forward to that. And we have the Five of Cups here. Yeah, somebody is still sad. Okay, yeah. Somebody could still be confused on love and their emotions towards somebody with the Seven of Cups here. But I see that this person also fantasizes about you. Okay, we have the Five of Cups here. So somebody is very sad here about, you know, past events, reliving past events. Okay, thinking, you know, that they should have did something different here, right? They should have chose a different path here okay but everything is a lesson you know in life so it's like this person is still mourning okay with the five of cups here this person is very emotional it could be a um it could be connected to a water sign okay here we have the nine of cups so, yeah so this person while this person is mourning okay feeling sad it's like this person is thinking about their wish fulfillment somebody that's going to bring them a lot of happiness a lot of joy here and it's like this person wants to go towards their happiness here okay wants to overcome any obstacles this person genuinely wants to be happy okay i see that this person don't want to keep engaging in third parties here people that's gonna you know just use them for their own reasons right but it's like this person wants to be happy wants to be um 
the martyr. Yeah, it's like, yeah, when the hermit, it's like this person is going within here, okay? Spending some time alone, really healing themselves from this heartbreak here. Really going back and re, um, reliving the past events or why that they did the things that they did. Like, you know, where did this stem from here? Yeah. You could be connected to a Cancer. Okay, I have a Aquarius here, Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, some old Pisces, Leo, and the Virgo. Yeah, and this is the world card. These cards just popped out again. The world and the full card here. So it's like this person is going within and they realize that they have to complete a cycle. You know, with anybody that's, you know, taking them off their path here to being successful and being more happy. Who don't want to be happy, right? And it's like this person is realizing that they've been in this energy where it's like it's been so depressing, low vibrational for so long. And it's like this person's ready for a change. This person's ready to go towards something that's going to help them, um become more enlightened, more smart, okay? This person could be trying to learn about the universe and how the universe works. Could be reading books on the law of attraction here, okay? Researching synchronicities, okay? We have the death card, yeah. This person's going through some type of big transformation here. We have the sun, the hermit, the world, and the fool card, and the death card right next to each other. So they're all major arcanas here. So this person is going through a big change here, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like this person is ending their play of ways that this person was a player, okay? And it's the, right here, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this person going to be walking away from things that don't want to serve them, all right? Mm -hmm. And with judgment, this person wants to have a renewal with you, okay? After this person heals and go through what they, you know, they're going through here, it's like this person wants to be in a relationship with you, wants to have a renewal with you, okay? With the judgment, it's like this person is problem solving on how they're going to come in. This person knows that they have to make a decision on who they want to be with. Right? And a lot of these, in the third part that this person hung out with, whether they be friends, families, ex-lovers, it's like these people cause this person to be depressed because you are who you hang around with. Yeah, it's like this person is going to make a decision to come towards you with the Two of Cups here. All right? You could be connected to Scorpio, another Pisces here, Cancer, Scorpio again. Yeah, this person wants to be in a connection with somebody that they, you know, knows that's going to bring them a lot of happiness here, right? That's not going to waste their time here. That's not going to give them bad advice. Mm -hmm. That's not going to cause them to backtrack and do their old bad habits. Yeah, we have the hierophant here. This person wants to be in a relationship with you, wants to take things to the next level with you, okay? Mm -hmm. This person also could still be said about things that happened in their past relationships, okay? This person is learning lessons, okay? with the Herman Taurus energy. And yeah, this person wants to be with you with Queen of Cups here, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, yeah. This person sees you as very loving. You could be very psychic. You could do what I do, you know, do tarot, okay? You could just be just intuitive, okay? You're very loving, generous. You're very pure, right? Kind-hearted here with the Queen of Cups. You're not afraid of love. You know, there's some people that's afraid of love. They give them anxiety, right? But it's like, you're not afraid to be loved. And to love others with Queen of Cups here. And it's like the Tempest card, this person wants to bounce out the situation with you. Wants to go towards a more spiritual connection here. This person knows that you're very, you know, enlightened. Okay? This person cannot fool you. And with the Tempest here, it's like Sagittarius energy. This person sees that you love, you have become more like evolved. Like you love, you start loving yourself more here with the Tempest. Okay, you start balancing that your life. You could, you know, you could be meditating. This person could also like to meditate as well. You know, get out of nature here. Put your feet in some water here. You could be pouring yourself a little drink here, a little wine or whatever you drink. You know, we have the Seven of Cups here. This is Cancer energy, Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, so this person fantasizes about coming in towards you. We have the Knight of Wands here, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This person fantasizes about coming in towards you. Yeah, with the chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer energy. This person fantasizes about coming in towards you very quick here, being very passionate with you, okay? This person could have, you know, been the type of person where they, like, came, got what they wanted, and pulled their pants up and left. Yeah. Clap for the Seven of Cups. These too many cards. Can I find the seven of cups? We have the strength. Okay. 
There's too many cards. I'm going to take justice. Yeah, this person fantasizes about you, okay? They looking at their options, like, what can they do? How can they come in towards you here? Okay, this person um, was very confused. Probably had a lot of options in love here, but it's like this person is going to have the strength to bring you justice. It's like them walking away from all these options here where they, you know, had sex with these people and, you know, said what they wanted to these people so they could, you know, get what they wanted out of each other. It's like this person is going to have the strength, the willpower to bring themselves justice and walking away from those type of situations here, moving elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this person needs to have the strength to come in towards you and bring you justice as well, okay? And I see that this person wants to rush in with the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Yes, yeah, like this person is holding on to you, wants to have a new passion beginning with you. You see the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. This person wants to have a new beginning with you. It's holding on to you, wants to start passionate with you. This person is going to be taking action towards you. This person thinks about you 24-7. Mm-hmm. And they're thinking about how they're going to communicate to you. This person is very passionate about you, okay? Have a lot of fire for you, and this person is holding on to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we have the Knight of Swords, right? Behind the Knight of Wands. So this person wants to come in very quick with some fast communication here. Okay, this person can feel like, you know, time is running out here. Okay, it could be some type of secret here where this person is struggling financially. Okay, and this person's trying to, you know, get themselves back in action with money here. Okay, this person could be, you know, either selling drugs to get money or, you know, however this person gets money. But this person is um, could be having some type of financial issues right now. But I see that this person wants to come in towards you, wants to, um, you know, work things out with you, wants to communicate with you. You guys cannot be talking right now. And it's like this person has so much to say. This person wants to hear what you have to say as well. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles that just popped right back out, which is Taurus energy. You could be connected to Gemini Taurus as well. And we have the Four of Swords here, which is Libra energy. So here we have this person is holding on to you and this person is healing right now. Okay, this person that I'm picking up on, this person is putting in the work. Okay, this person is seeing the truth. Okay, of the situation that they, you know, been in, right? And it's like this person is healing themselves right now. Okay, taking some time out to rest. Okay. Not allowing other people to put their two cents in on how they feel, right? And their emotions and what they need to do. It's like this person is becoming more smart and more enlightened here. Okay, seeing everything, seeing the truth of everything. And I see that this person is a lot, come, become more enlightened about the people that they hung around. That caused them to either make these bad decisions, you know, and keep being toxic or, you know, having their devilish ways here. Okay, what else is going on? Here, guys, I love my interesting masters. What else is going on here? We have here fresh start. This person wants to have a fresh start with you, and going to be receiving a message from this person about them wanting to have a fresh start with you. Mm -hmm. This person could like to be by water here, or this person could be very spontaneous. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing the train outside of my um, window. So it's like this person is coming in towards you, right? And we have inadequate. So this person is feeling inadequate, like they can't cope right now because they have a lot of regrets you know, on the past. Okay, clarify inadequate. Yeah, it's like this person is feeling inadequate, like they, they couldn't do it, right? You know, like they can't cope with it, but it's to clarify inadequate. It says renewal. So this person must have a renewal with you. Okay. Yeah, this person is open to growth and expansion. This person wants to grow, wants to become more smarter, wants to expand their mind, their horizon here, wants to go towards something fresh and new. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to have a renewal with you. But right now, this person is feeling like inadequate. You know, like they can't cope with either things that's going on in their life right now. Yeah, but the Three of Swords, this reminds me of the Three of Swords. Because the Three of Swords is like when you're depressed, you're heartbroken. It's like you can't cope with heartbreak, you know, because it, it hurts, right? And when you're depressed as well, like, you know, you have hurt. Yeah, this person is hurt right now, okay? Very hurt. 
somebody either something either came back around to this person where a third party hurt this person's feelings you know it was it like it came right back to them basically attached so this person is extremely attached to you okay you guys could like holding hands as well being by the beach we have falsely accused okay accusations here so somebody is pointing fingers about a situation here okay clarify accusations Oh, okay. So we have here stuck rejection, storm brewing, vacation, and passion and romance. Okay, so somebody is stuck. This person is stuck right now in their hair because this person is afraid that you're going to reject them. Okay, that you're going to accuse this person for something that you either found out about them. Okay, yeah, and it's like this person. Something can happen on some type of vacation here where somebody either has sex with somebody else, and this person is afraid to tell you about that situation. Yeah, because this, this person feel like it's gonna you're gonna go off on them and you're gonna reject them. You're not gonna want to be with this person. I see that this person wants to tell you the truth about a situation. Okay, you could probably already know about this, but this was for a specific person. Somebody went on vacation and had a romance with somebody else here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it was with a karmic soulmate. Okay, somebody that they thought was their soulmate. And then we have healing your heart. So this person is going to be seizing the opportunity to come and heal your heart. This person really wants to talk and have a renewal with you. And this person is also is in that Five of Cups energy where they feel like they lost you here. And yeah. Mm -hmm. And this person also is dealing with some money and finances at the bottom of the deck. But yeah, this person wants to seize the opportunity to come and heal your heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Give me some messages from this person. What do they want to say? What is hidden? Okay. Okay, this person has a lot to say. A lot. Okay, so let's see here what this person has to say. Yeah, this person has a lot to say, and I said that earlier. I feel like this person has so much to say to you. Okay, this person wants to be honest with you. I wish things could be different. Finding out the truth crushed me. I'm starting to understand our connection. I hope that you can forgive me one day. The timing just wasn't right for us. So many things remind me of you. I want to feel that way again. I feel you leaving me behind. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. You came closer than anyone. I am not available. Yeah, this person is, needs to heal first. You speak to me through music. I know exactly what I was doing. So this person did some, some crazy things. Just being near you is intoxicating. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I love you unconditionally. I remember every detail of that day. I wanted to be more than friends. And I left when I saw you with someone. So you could have been talking to somebody else here this person you know felt that you didn't care about them so you were giving your attention to somebody else here okay so i hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity if it did don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye